This question is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your WordPress questions or tasks on demand. Hi, everyone. So I'm going to show you how to add 301 redirects to your WordPress site. There's actually a lot of different ways to accomplish this task. Uh, there's a lot of different free plugins that you can use for this, which makes this process a lot simpler. So I'm going to include some of those plugins in the comment of this video so you can peruse those. Um, if you didn't want to get your hands dirty in your server and the hosting. Uh, but for those of you that want to add 301 redirects via your hosting, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, we're going to be working with Apache server. If you're using an Nginx server, um, I'm going to include a link on how to do redirects on that one. My server is Apache, so I'm going to show you how to do those through Apache through your HT access file. Okay, so first what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to log into your hosting admin, and you're going to want to find your file manager. Mm -hmm. which is right here. All right, and we're gonna go to the home directory and we're gonna make sure to include show hidden files. Now I'm using Bluehost and they're kind of notorious for not showing hidden files uh, once you click that anyway. Um, I'm gonna show you how to add um, a little bit of a query to the end of your URL in order to see hidden files if you cannot see your HT access file um, in your folders. Now, another reason why you might not be able to see an HD access file is you might not have one. If that's the case, you'll have to create one. Pretty much, you just add a new file called .ht access, and you'll be good to go. But if you're running Apache and you're running WordPress, you probably will already have an HD access file. All right, so I'm just going to look for HD access right here. All right, and you're going to see a lot of HD access in my uh, folder tree. This is because I have a lot of different um, websites on my hosting. And we're just going to look for this file right here. So .ht access, and we're going to open this up. All right, so this is what my HD access file looks like. Uh, so pretty much redirects are pretty simple to do. Uh, through the HD access file. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of different uh, ways you can do this. You can also do it through uh, PHP as well, uh, through your PHP init file. Um, that can be a little tricky. Sometimes that will throw an error and you will uh, get the white screen of death on WordPress. So just be careful doing it that way. It also depends on what kind of host you have that will allow you to do that. Um, also, when Working with the, the HT access file, you need to be very, very careful how you uh, put things in there uh, because if you make a mistake on what the code looks like, it will crash your site and it will not be usable. And what you would need to do is rename the HT access file so the site can create a new HT access file and restore your site. Okay, so how you do a three, uh, 301 redirects is super simple. All you need to do after the, the main code in your HT access file, you're just going to write redirect 301 or whatever other type of code. Maybe you have a temporary redirect to be 302. So it would be 301. And then it would be the name of your URL. And then whatever it's impended to. Maybe it's an HTML file. And then you add your new one that you want to redirect it to. And that's it. That's how you add redirects to your WordPress. Again, I'll add some links on how to work with the Nginx or maybe a different server that you might have your WordPress on, as well as add some uh, links to certain plugins that you can use for WordPress that makes the process a lot simpler. You won't have to deal with the hosting side and you can simply add the redirect straight from your WordPress um, admin. Hope that helps and have a great day.